everyone, it's Dario. Welcome back to my channel full of lit and today I'm in a very different location than I typically am and I have a very special guest with me. This is my best friend. Angelina. Yes, and today we're going to be doing the book boyfriend tag. This tag was created by Mayana. I'll link her channel in the description below along with the original tag. Also, we were super hungry and haven't eaten in a very, very long time and so we thought that we would turn this into a mukbang as well. Is that how you pronounce it? Mukbang? I don't want to be culturally insensitive. Mm. Alright, so the first question question in the tag is how long have we been dating two years and almost half that was very specific good job <laughs> <laughs> the next question is are you a reader yes okay what genres do you read just to share with the people i basically dabble in everything Okay. But she reads a lot of new adult, which is yeah, a really, that's, really great thing. Yeah, we like, bond over slime. Memoirs. I like memoirs. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're like, oh, I like memoirs. I'm super professional. And I'm just like, smut. We like smut. Mm. Little clip of like. <laughs> God damn, that's good. The third question is what Hogwarts house are you in? Hufflepuff. Yes, just like me. Hufflepuffs are superior. Okay, which houses like rank them in terms of like which ones are objectively the best? I'll go first. I think Hufflepuff and Slytherin are the superior houses and I think Ravenclaw is like third and Gryffindor is fourth. I like Gryffindor second. This I've never been a Slytherin person wow. not to hate, but like the Slytherins I've met have been shooting me. <gasps> <So> <laughs> Wow. I can't believe I have a Gryffindor apologist as a best friend. I think this is gonna be the first book boyfriend tag where we like break up in the midst of it. Oh God. This question is what is my most anticipated book either from 2018 or 2019? I remember you talking about that one book about <laughs> color and skin. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, and so I know that that's one of your anticipated. There's this book that's coming out. It's basically set in this world. Well, I was about to say set in a world where racism exists, but <laughs> mm. it's about this procedure where you can pay to get someone be turned white. So in the book, this father decides that he wants to get this procedure done for his biracial child. And he has to try to scrape up a bunch of money in order to pay for the procedure. And it's like a very satirical look into like racism and prejudice in our society. I don't, I don't even remember the title, so I'm going to give you that one. The next question is, what was the last book I read? Well, the, the historical romance, like after the Duchess deal. Yes, The Governess Game. The last book, as of this moment, the last book that I read was The Governess Game. It was a historical romance. It was smutty. It was great. <laughs> Number six is what's my favorite book? I have a few, so if you uh, get any seven, of them. Seven. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Yeah. That's true. Don't you like The Six of Crows? I do like Six of Crows. I want Pride and Prejudice. How could I forget? Yes, I was waiting for that one. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. You're doing really well, but I would expect that. She's a good listener. Okay, number seven, what is my favorite book genre? Are we talking like tropes or like- No, like genre. So like no, historical fiction, okay. like, like why? I do. It's not my favorite, but yeah. I'm trying to get into it. You love angst. Is that a genre? <laughs> Counts, that's true. Yeah. I'm a whore for pain. Yeah. Are you into YA? I mean, like, like. So yes, I primarily read YA, a new adult, um, and then within those genres, they're like subgenres. So like YA fantasy, YA contemporary, new adult. New adult is mostly just contemporary romance. I haven't read a lot of like new adult sci-fi. Have you? I've never even heard of new adult sci-fi. That should be a thing. There is a dog in our midst and um, <laughs> she, she really likes her squeaky toys. The next question is how much time do I usually spend reading? I mean, you're not with me every day. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think that it depends on your schedule because there's some days where you spend three days reading nonstop mm. and then there are some weeks yeah. where you haven't read anything. So That's very true. It depends on your schedule. So I listen to my audiobook all the time when I'm driving. Mm -hmm. So maybe like 40 minutes to an hour a day. But you're right, if I have time off, I'll just spend as much time as I can reading. Mm -hmm. The next question is what is one thing you notice about my reading habits? So like, do I listen to music when I read? Do I usually sit in a certain position? You twirl your hair. That's very true. If anyone's watched my reading vlogs, like I'm just constantly like this. I do it all the time. All the time. All the time. Class. Uh-huh. <laughs> audiobook is one. Like you do it when you drive, when you work out, yeah. when you walk places. You always say that you come into class listening to an audiobook. 
The next question is what book should I read sometime soon? So I think you're recommending a book to me. Oof. I feel like I'm usually recommending yeah, things to you. Yeah, because I, I haven't had much time to read. Yeah, you've been really busy. So I've been reading what you've recommended. Yeah, yeah like you just recommended the kiss question to me. So the next question is what book would you consider reading? And I think this means like out of the books that I've recommended to you recently, besides the kiss question, which you just said, like what is a book? that you were interested in. I'm trying to remember all the ones you've been telling me about. I do want to read the, the Seven Husbands one. I don't know if you have to answer this question for you or for me. Let's just do both. So superhero or supervillain, which one would you rather be and which one do you think I would rather be? Well, first do like, which one would you rather be? Would you rather be a hero or a villain? And oh, there's no a villain. There's, <laughs> were you hated on Slytherin so much because you secretly are one? Oh man. No, I just think villains have so much more fun. I mean, you've seen my backpack where you have all the villains on That's there from true. Disney. Like, they just get to do all the best things. <laughs> so I, I want to be a villain. Which one do you think I would rather be? A superhero. I honestly just want people to like me and validate me. That's I really it. I was gonna say that. <laughs> Now we're going to go through a set of booktube terms and you're going to define them. The first one is booktube. It's like a community of people mm -hmm. who come together and discuss books. The next one is what is a reading slump? When you can't decide like what to read mm -hmm. or like nothing is really interesting you at the moment so yeah. then you don't feel like you should want to read. Yeah. I usually get into reading slumps because I read something that's so amazing that I don't want to read anything else think about anything else. I just want to immerse myself in that world. Like after I read Akamath, I didn't want to think about any other characters besides Resand and Feyre. I get in them like right now when you're not actively in the community anymore. Like before I was so up to date, like you knowing what books are coming out mm -hmm. and all of that. And then when I'm like in school doing other things and I don't know what I should be reading, I get oh. lazy about like finding a book to read sometimes, mm -hmm. you know? I'm a very non-insta <laughs> person. So it's like, yeah. also that makes things hard. I try to recommend shit to her and she's just like, is it angsty? And I'm like, well, I mean, who like, are you no. talking to? Like, <laughs> yesterday we were in a bookstore and she was like, can you recommend something like fluffy and fun to me? And I was literally sitting there like, fuck. Like even the contemporary that I'm reading is all, it's like very dark and gritty and like, it's got some heavy topics. So like I couldn't recommend anything besides the Kiss Quotient, which I read like all the way at the beginning of the year. The next term is a TBR. What is a TBR? To be read. Yes, amazing. What is a wrap up? Giving a summary of what you've read. What is a readathon? When you read like a set of books nonstop, fitting a certain like requirement or tag or something. The last term is a reading blog. What is a reading blog? And I feel like even if you didn't know about <laughs> booktube, you would be able to guess what this is. Yeah, you film yourself reading. I've seen this. Oh, thank you. So that's the end of the tag. We still have food left over. I feel like I didn't even eat anything because I was talking the whole time which like is pretty standard for me. So now we're gonna move on to the second portion of this video where we're just gonna talk about book characters and books that we don't like. I try to think of fictional characters that I hate and like the only one that comes to mind cause he's just so above everybody else. Snape? It's, yes! I hate him so much. Like I just feel like the general populace of Harry Potter fans, they like Snape. And so the fact that they like Snape makes me hate him more, you know? Mm -hmm. You know when a character's popularity just feeds your hatred for them to the point that you hate them so much. Mm, that's how I feel about Snape. First time I ever talked about like Harry Potter with you and I mentioned Snape and you were like, oof. <laughs> I honestly wish a Snape apologist would come at me. They will now. <laughs> they can try. He's terrible. I'm trying so. to be careful and not like scrape during the video. So I don't want to <laughs> oh, no. But this is an ASMR. Oh, that, the, t the tap. Oh, or wait, we have to be completely quiet. <laughs> She didn't like the sounds. <laughs> See, this is why I said in my Q&A that I prefer cats over dogs. So I've talked about my most hated character. Now you tell me about a recent character that you hate and it can be books, movies, TV. So after you got me on the Elite bandwagon. Elite is this Netflix Spanish teen show. I'm making everybody and their mother watch this show because it's phenomenal. Literally. Spoilers for Elite, by the way, if you have not watched the show, don't That's watch this. Yes. <laughs> Marina dies and thank the fucking Lord that she did. Like, I remember at the end of episode one, you see her under the sheet and you're like, oh no, like that sucks. You pity her for yeah. the first episode. And then by the second and third episode, you're like, thank, thank God, God that's fucking, <laughs> yes. The thing about Marina is that she single-handedly fucked over everybody in that show. I hate her more than Lou. 
Because she just... Really? Yeah. Only because, I mean, like, how can you not hate someone who's, like, the star of the whole show? That's you know? true. Like, she's a central focus, and, like... If someone's a main character and you don't like them, I feel like it's worse than if someone's a side character and you don't like exactly. them. Exactly. Like, okay, you like... the deal with their assets. Like, let's talk about book series that we have no intention of reading, ever. What's that one series we usually talk about? Throne of Glass? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Raven Cycle. Oh, yeah. Don't no, care. Thank you. I read the other series that she wrote. I hated the ending to that three book series. I won't spoil it, but either way, it was redundant. It kind of went full circle in like a whole bad way. I hate when you like solve one character issue, but then another character ends up having the same issue and it's like, what did we just read the whole thing? So she just like rehashed the same plot yeah. lines? After I read that, I was like, okay, this is a horrible cliffhanger and like not about it. So then I, I'm like, I don't care about the Raven cycle. I'm like, are they gonna do that again? I don't want to deal with it. The one the about the cyborg Cinderella first my Cinder? Yeah. I remember getting the first book when it first came out and it was brand new. And then I just always get lazy to think about reading it. Like I'm intrigued by it. I don't really have like a shitty comment about it. Yeah. But it's just one of those series where you're like, oh, it's a nice idea to think I'll read it, but. Then you don't. Yeah, you're like, I got other books to go through. Yeah. <laughs> It's always one of those series where I look at it. I literally look at it and I'm like, oh. you're just like, oh god, someday. Yeah. Your dog is licking my foot. <laughs> I'm telling you, she has a foot fetish. <laughs> now that we have discussed characters we don't like, book series that we're not a huge fan of and don't really want to read at the moment, let's move on to things that we like. Who are some of your favorite book characters of all time? Archer's voice. I just love it because it's about this guy who has a disability but no one knows what his real story was or how it came to be and this girl who's like new to town I guess and kind of the evolution of their relationship but he's just like a really sweet character. I guess it's the one real angsty book <laughs> like I've ever been into. It's so angsty. Yeah. Uh, there's like so many plot twists but I just think it's a sweet relationship. All in all. It's one of the only like smutty books that I've read that doesn't have an alpha male character. He's a soft boy. I like soft boys. It's sweet. One of my favorite characters of all time, Percy Jackson. I love that boy so much. I love those books. I still love those books. I will always love those books. I and like, still. that's actually one that I want to though. Yeah. I got the first book. Then why haven't you read it? I don't know. Reading smut. <laughs> Oh, ooh, the series. The deal, remember? So we're talking about the off-campus series by Elle Kennedy. It's a new adult sports romance. There's four books in, in the series. Every single book follows a different male hockey player and his love interest. And it's like dual POV between the guy and the girl. They're super cute. They're not too problematic. We're talking about the second book. Angelia's talking about the second book called The Mistake. The main character, John Logan, people call him Logan. He has an alcoholic father and he really like that storyline. Yeah. I like it because I like when YA books and new adult books tackle real life situations. Mm -hmm and they try to make it non-stereotypical of like the issue. Mm -hmm. They actually try to make it like a bit more realistic. But I just remember like really liking his character in that book. I feel like the guys in those books are like, they're soft boys, but they're soft boys inside of a hard shell, which I also like. Let's talk about some ladies that we love. Ginny Weasley. This is shocking to most people, but Ginny Weasley is my favorite female character from the Harry Potter series. I like her more than I like Hermione, which is not a popular opinion amongst booktube or really anyone. No one really likes Ginny, but I fucking love her. I'm blanking on my female characters. <laughs> But I do like Farah book too. I felt like that was like the best Farah. Like she was so badass and in control of herself, mm -hmm. learning her powers and everything. And then she was just trash the third one and suddenly did nothing except literally give you the point of view of the fight, like the right yeah. thing. She was not a fan of Aka War. It just disappointed me. <laughs> she mm. became useless. Yeah. <laughs> It sucks because the first book, Akatar, was like not that great. She kind of set it up so that you thought that the book series was gonna go one way and then she kind of switched it around on you, which I didn't mind. Whenever I recommend the series to people, I always say just push through the first book and get to the second one. I knew the first book. Well. Yeah. And the second book is all, it's this really compelling storyline of like this girl overcoming trauma and learning how to be like stronger again and how to be okay with herself but then in the third book she just kind of loses i think that spark that we saw in the second book yeah the entire final battle in ak war she's just standing there watching everybody fight she's literally giving you the point of view of everyone as she's observing <laughs> anything. Yeah. And it's so frustrating because you know that she has the potential to do so much cooler shit, but, but she, she doesn't do it. <laughs> yeah. 
How can you go from like battling with your water wolves and then just nothing? <laughs> Yeah. I don't understand how Sarah J. Bass can create these characters that are so compelling and interesting and you just fall completely in love with them and their relationships and then one book later just destroy all of that and make mm -hmm. me so annoyed at them. Like, I don't think there was a single person who I know who, like, enjoyed Akafas. Everyone was like, there was no reason for that to happen. Yeah. And again, just because we've, like, said negative things about Throne of Glass and the series, we're not hating on the author. Everyone's yeah. entitled to their own opinion. We simply aren't the greatest fans of her writing. If you like it. <laughs> I love how you put that disclaimer in yeah, I just, and I did it. I don't want people coming for you. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know if you enjoyed Angelina's presence as much as I did. All of my social media links are in the description below, so check those out if you would like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.